All right, so anyway, QuickTime has changed on this new iteration of uh, uh, software that has just been uh, installed, which is the Catalina, but it also changes you know, my QuickTime. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works. So first of all, we gotta hit QuickTime Player, which is right down here. It's gonna open up this window, and we're just gonna go ahead and close that. Then we're gonna go up here to File, we're going to click that. We're going to do new screen recording. And this is the new thing down here. So first of all, uh, I want to record the entire screen. I click this. If I want to record a partition, I could click that. So if I click this, you'll see it changes it, right? See, it's just showing partly. But let's go, and you can change that. You can move it around. You see what I'm saying? Like this. And it tells you what your size is right there as you're moving it around. So you can record just whatever... Uh, part of the screen you want to, but we don't want to do that. We're going to do a full recording. So we're going to go to this one and now you can see the whole screen's locked in there. And then when I'm ready to record, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to click record. Now it's recording. And the way you know that is if you look up here, you're going to see that little circle with the square in it. That's telling you that it's recording. So if you want to get out of that, you just come up here. You're going to click that right there. And what it's going to do, it's going to bring up your uh, recording. So when you do click this, it's going to bring up your movie. So I'm going to do that. And then you see it pops up. Now, before, when you would come here and click this, it would give you a box and you could rename it, right? But it's not letting me do that. So if you want to rename it, what you've got to do is you've got to come here. you got to click on this. It's going to give you a box and then you can name it. I'm just going to name it Tom. How's that sound? And then I can click out of it. Okay, there we go. Now it's changed its name to Tom. You see, I just clicked out of it. Now when I go over here and I click this, what's gonna happen? It just disappears. So if you don't click that, what will happen is it'll just turn up as a screen recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna just, bam, it's gone. Now I'm gonna minimize this here. And then let's go over here and you're gonna see there's a bunch of, here's some ones that I did earlier. And then here's the one that I just did. So that's how it works. That's how you, if you're going to name them. Now you can also name them here. You know, I mean, you could come in and uh, you could click in there and you could rename it, whatever you want. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. And that's the way the new QuickTime Player works. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos. Peace out.